Question 23. A bowl is a hemisphere with radius 6 centimetres. Water fills two-fifths of the volume of the bowl. The water is poured, poured into a hollow cone. The depth of the water in the cone is 12 centimetres. Work out the radius of the surface of the water in the cone. So we need to figure out this length here, and we'll call that x. In order to work this out, we need to know the volume of water that was poured into this cone in the first place. So we need to calculate the volume of water in the hemisphere. We know that two-fifths of the volume is filled with that. So if we knew the volume, we could multiply by two-fifths to get the actual amount of water. Let's calculate the volume of the hemisphere. We know the volume of a sphere is four-thirds pi r cubed, and a hemisphere is half of that. So the volume of the hemisphere will be two-thirds pi r cubed because two-thirds is half of four-thirds. We know the radius is six, so we can do two-thirds times pi times six cubed, which equals 144 pi. We leave this in terms of pi for now, since it'll make our calculations more accurate later on. The volume of the hemisphere is 144 pi, but we want the volume of the water which we know from earlier is two-fifths of the volume of the hemisphere, so two-fifths times 144 pi, which equals 57.6 pi. Now let's calculate the volume of the cone. We're given that the volume of the cone is one-third times pi times the radius, which in this case is x cubed, times h, well, Sorry, that's x squared. So that should give us 4 pi x squared. Now we can equate these two. 4 pi x squared equals 57.6 pi. And the reason we can equate those is this volume of water is the same as this volume of water. We can cancel the two pi's and divide by 4 to get x squared equals 57.6 over 4. Our last step is to calculate the square root then of 57.6 over 4, which equals 3.79, increasing the 3.79.